briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1972, the Court of Appeal of the State of California heard the case People v. Utter, which revolved around the admissibility of crucial evidence and the court's authority to oversee the charges brought against the defendant, Thomas Utter. Utter was found guilty of murder, robbery, and grand theft in connection with the mysterious disappearance of Norma Wilson, a hospital owner with whom he was accused of having an affair. Utter had attempted to trade a building for Wilson's property and, after her disappearance, refused to answer questions about their possible real estate transactions. Bloodstained clothing belonging to Norma Wilson was later discovered in a train station in Geneva. During the trial, evidence related to Utter's fraudulent real estate dealings was allowed, and prior statements and promises made by Utter to Wilson were presented. Utter was subsequently sentenced to life in prison for murder, with additional sentences for the robbery and grand theft charges. Upon Utter's appeal, the court upheld the trial court's jurisdiction over the robbery charge and the inclusion of evidence from his separate fraudulent real estate transaction. The court also permitted the admission of prior consistent statements made by Utter, testimony on Wilson's promises, and the prosecutor's offer to call a witness. The judgment was ultimately modified, the sentence vacated, and the case was remanded for further proceedings. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law, elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.